right, so we're live with K9. K9, talk to us a little bit. Uh, you know, we want to know what's next for you. Obviously, I mean, you won the IBF title, and uh, we haven't heard much since then. What's going on for uh, for K9 for 2015? Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, um, you know, man, I got so many guys calling me out, man. Anthony Medine, them people was lying from us, and they they all reached out to me, and they and they, they we was gonna fight, and man. It's a lot of people in mind, man, so you definitely got to watch, you know, watch what you hear. You know, everybody that's printing, you know what I mean, ain't printing right information. So, yeah, but uh, there's a lot of guys overseas are calling me, but really not interested in going overseas. I wouldn't care, you know, the money, money ain't everything, believe me. <laughs> but, but you know what I'm saying, it, it is good to have, but it ain't everything. So, yeah, I done got me a nice few offers from overseas. But, you know, like I say, I don't want to go get robbed. That's how come when I went over to, um, over and I fought um, Carlos Molina in Cancun, Mexico, I made sure that I wouldn't get robbed. So I put on a, a spectacular fight and um, took care of my business. But um, the, 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 actually the target or well, the, the name, the name that's just, you know, reaching my ears the most right now is Tim Bradley. You know, Tim Bradley said, you know, he wouldn't, um, he wouldn't mind fighting K-9 because of the, for the fact that me and him is the same height. I mean, we both walk around, you know what I'm saying, a lot, lot um, bigger than our weight. And um, I, I think he just wants to move up because, you know, coming down to 147, he hasn't been looking as strong in his last few fights. So I think he's looking to move up. And he said, as long as, it's, you know, it's not against somebody at 6 feet, with me being 5'6", him being, I think, 5'6", it would be a great um, a great fight then. And then his promoter, Bob Arum, actually promoted with my COO. From, uh, my CEO of my company, K9 Boxing Global Promotions, in 1982. So they had a sit down, a meeting, and um, you know they they, they you know they went over a few things, and um, I think that right there probably is on the table. So, so you're saying that <clears throat> you're in negotiations for a Bradley fight? I, I'm not. I'm not actually saying that we're negotiating with it, but it, it, it could be made. It could be made. But 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 you just said that your your CEO has sat down with top rank. Yeah yeah we went over we went over the we went over a possibility of a fight with Tim Bradley. Now did you present? I mean not you yourself, but did your company present an offer to them, or did they present it to you? Well, like I said, when I looked at fighthype dot com, Bradley was talking about Bradley and his trainer was talking about fighting. Moving up to junior middleweight and fighting me, and his trainer said, "Man, I don't saw a lot of K nine fights, and we you know we could we could take K nine and and I, you know so I had my CEO of my company K nine Global Boxer Promotions to reach out with Bar Elm, and he said, oh, Bar Elm, yeah, me and Bar Elm did business before. He said I can reach out with him no problem. So you know they we, they reached out, you know, and they talked." And um, you know, the rest is you know yet to come. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, you can't give out all the information of what's going on. You know what I mean? You just gotta go with the flow. But they are talking. You know what I mean? And uh, no, what's what's really happening too, man, is like a lot of a lot of stuff is is, is going is being surrounded by what Mayweather is doing. So that's why you know it, a lot of things have to happen right now. Just like Pacquiao, Pacquiao having reached out. To, 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 to fight nobody other than Mayweather because it's on the table. Amir Khan, Amir Khan hasn't reached out to fight anybody because it's a possible possibility that he could fight against um, Mayweather. Again, if he don't fight against Mayweather and Pacquiao don't fight against Mayweather, it's talk that they might fight each other. So really it's just like, you know, a lot of people are just waiting to see what's going to happen between them two because I might end up on an undercard of uh, 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 Pacquiao or Mayweather, you know what I mean? Because well, I have my own promotion, so I'm not under I'm not under nobody's umbrella but my own. Understandable. So, so basically, you are going to also wait for Mayweather before you decide what you do. Because uh, if I ask you, do you have a scheduled date that you want to be back in the ring by? You can't answer that, can you? Well, I can tell you this much. I'm not now, you know, like 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 me and my my um, CEO say, we don't wait. We create. I'm not gonna wait that long. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, I would I would know something within the next week or two. I'm not gonna wait all the way to May second because I want to actually fight. You know what I mean? In the spring. You know what I mean? I ain't talking about late spring. So I'm not gonna wait. I'm I'm waiting a little. I'm waiting a little bit. You know what I mean? Because 
You know what I mean? It's, it, I want to see what's going to happen, too, because what happens between Mayweather and Pacquiao will determine a lot of my possibilities of what I can do. But I'm not going to wait. Now, like let I'm me good. ask huh? you a question here. Let me ask you a question here. Okay. Why, why are you not more focused on Canelo Kirkland since that's your division and he's a cash cow and, you know, that that. Well, you know what? Right. I can tell you, I can tell you this too that I can tell you this too is that uh, we we were we were approached we were approached by Canelo and them Canelo and his people and um you know one of, my name was out there along with Kirkland's name and I believe it was another name but um you know of course with the performance I had against um against Carlos Spolina you know my name didn't get caught and then with it being a, like a Mexican holiday you know you know Canelo wants to look good so. It's better he can look good against a guy that just comes straight straight ahead who hasn't fought in two years than against somebody that just fought in Mexico and did one of somebody in Mexico, which is Carl Salinas, the way he did him. So, you know, I man, I'm not gonna chase I'm not gonna chase Canelo. Canelo, I got I mean, I got the belt. Come on, man, I got the belt. Kirkland, you know, he's a good fighter, but you know, Kirkland ain't you know what he used to be. You know what I mean? And um, he ain't fought in two years, so you know, it's like, I, I'm not gonna wait. I don't have to, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to create because I'm the world champion. So I'm not worried about no Canelo or none of them guys, man. I'm going to fight whoever's in front of me. And I wait. I got to continue to create. That guy, that guy been ducking me since, um, since I was signed with Golden Boy. I was told when Emmanuel Stewart was alive that once we beat Corey Spinks, that we was going to get the Canelo fight. But I saw Oscar looking at me, man. I, I looked at the tape and I saw how his eyes was glued to me. And they said, oh, no, nah, Canelo not ready for that. So Canelo went and fought everybody else other than me. Now that he didn't fought Mayweather and he didn't fought against um, Magulu, you know, I said, and then he fought Laura. I said, well, maybe, you know, he got the heart. He got the Kukuhanas to fight K9 now. You know what I mean? But still ain't got the heart to fight me. Still ain't got the Kukuhanas. So I, I'm not going to wait for him, man. You know, I got to, I got to keep it to moving. I'm not getting no younger, son. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm saying? So. I definitely hear you. So, so K and I, my last question: uh, What are you saying? You saying early spring? So, what are we talking? First week of March? Uh, you know what? Um, you got to get back with me because you know, man, anything can happen within a, within this this week. Anything can happen. I, you know, I was watching the Patriots, man, and the Patriots remind me of myself when they went and got their belt back. <laughs> they got their title back. So I got my title back, and all unifications lead to K9, man. Believe me when I tell you, you know. So this this probably won't be the, the, the last belt that I will be getting. I, I definitely look forward to unifying the belts. You know what I mean? You got, you know, in the near future, you got the, um, the what's my man's name? The Boo-Boo. Boo-Boo. He got the belt. Yeah. Uh, who else got the belt? Floyd got the belt, you know what I mean? Floyd got man, he gotta quit sitting on that belt, man. He, he holding that belt hostage. That's why so many guys, so many guys that semi ribby men want to fight me because Floyd got two belts that he's not even defending. So they so need why, they need why, to do something about so that. Why, so why are you not calling them out? Like uh, what's what's that dude name from from Rocky Three? I forgot his name. Who? Mr. T. Mr. T. Oh yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. Remember, remember, he, man, remember, man. remember, he went to Philadelphia. He would start calling Rocky in his in, in his train route. Right. Yeah. 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 Mayweather. Mayweather don't want to see me in the ring. That's why, man. I I stop stop trying to reach out to him, man. That man don't want no problems. And, and he disrespected my wife, so he know it'd be punishment for him. <laughs> you know, I I put him on whoa, time whoa, out. Whoa, 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 whoa. What you mean he disrespected your wife? Oh man, I don't, are you are you wasn't there? Yeah, you are. You matter of fact, they didn't show it on Showtime. When I fought, when I fought um Smith in my hometown of Detroit, Mayweather was mad dancing behind my wife, man, trying to grab her hand and ch talking to her, telling her he was trying to distract me. You know what I mean? I could tell that's probably what he was trying to do. But it went viral, man. It was pictures all on there with him trying to grab her and trying to take a picture with her, telling her this and that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see it when I was in the ring. But, you know what I'm saying, you know, thank God I didn't see it when I was in the ring because one thing you don't do is you disrespect the person's wife. But, yeah, it was a lot of people commenting on that, like, man, that was bold. You don't disrespect another man's wife, and I would love to see K-9 and Mayweather fight. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, he so, knows. He know, he so, wait a minute. So, wait a minute. So, wait a minute. So, so after the fight is when you got win, because I did see the pictures. I'm not going to act ignorant to the pictures. But I'm trying to understand. After the fight, when did you find out, and why haven't you said anything to him yet? 
Man, I found out after the fight. I didn't find out, you know, during the fight because then I would have, I would have jumped out the ring to, to protect my wife. You know, what I mean, you got man, you know, belts is one thing, but your wife is another. So, you know, I mean, I had, I saw him running around the ring post and saying ads, saying all kind of different stuff, but I didn't see him mess with my wife. He distracted me when it came to, you know, running around and saying, "Get him, get him, Smith," and he ain't no cake nine and uh. That was a little distraction, but I didn't see no. I didn't see the other stuff. No, no, I didn't see but, that stuff. No. But you do, you do just believe that it was, uh, it was more to just get you distracted so that so that Ishe could get the the win, right? Exactly. Yeah, I definitely, definitely. Listen, he know if you watch my fights, you hear my wife talk a whole lot. You hear her in the background. She say, "Get him, babe. Need them diapers. I'm every year. Need them diapers. Your daughter need them diapers, and it just motivates." <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so with him, with him messing with her, distracting her from talking to me, you know that that helped a whole lot. I'm I'm, I'm listening to that that third voice, so that second voice. You know, I, I hear God, you know, I hear my trainers, and I hear my wife. But that particular time, I didn't hear my wife because Mayweather was messing with her, so she was distracted, so she wasn't saying nothing. She usually would have said something. I said, "Babe, I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you." And then when I saw the, the pictures, I saw the why I didn't hear her. You know. So it was a good. It was I believe it was a good strategy, but at the same time, you know, you do, you don't do stuff like that, man. You know, because now how does it make me look? You know, even though I believe it was just like for strategy. You know, other people look at it and say, man, why can't I let him do that to his wife, man? Can't I, man? He, you know, he let them, man. He let him disrespect his wife like that. They laughing. I saw a picture of Jay Leon, man, on the background laughing. You know what I mean? And all, all at the same time, I didn't know what was going on. Then people, man, people, my, everybody in my city that came to fight was like, man, K-9, we started to knock, we started to get on Mayweather, man, he was disrespecting your wife, man, I started to run up there to put the security guards, grab me, I had a lot of people tell me they was going to jump on him, you know, jump down on top of the stage and go crazy. Then, yeah, man, it was about to be real chaos up in there. Mm. Well, K-9, okay, I'm a... Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, well, go ahead. I, I, no, I was just going to say, well, I'm going to go ahead and let you go, man. I, you definitely gave me enough here, and... uh you know we'll be in touch, man. We hope we hope you do get back in there before March, so, and you don't fall in line. Oh with yeah, hey, 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 listen, listen to this. Remember, remember this. I got the belt, right? You only have a certain time before you have to defend your belt. Now, if I had all the time in, in the world, then guess what? I would go out there to the K Canelo fight and tell Canelo, glove up. I would learn how to speak Spanish just to say, glove up in Spanish. Quit running for me in Spanish. You know what I'm saying? But I don't have that much time. You know what I mean? I got I got to try. I'm, I'm, I want to give me a fight in. You know what I mean? Before the end, you know what I mean? This off the record because I don't want my, you know, my my opponent to know the moves that I'm trying to make and what's on my whoa, mind. Whoa, 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 whoa! Well, the, well, then don't give it to me because remember the recorder's gone. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, yeah, I'm just telling you that part. Now I'm just telling you that part. No, yeah, you only got nine you, more. You just huh? said, oh, no, I'm just saying because you said off the record, so you know I got my recorder on and whatnot. But uh. Yeah, okay. Man, thank yeah, yeah, you okay. very much. Uh, as always, thank you, man, and we hope to see you back in there soon, brother. Okay, look, man, make me look good, man. Don't say nothing that you think that I wouldn't have said, man, because, you know, a lot of times you get to talk and you just be words, just be flowing, and you can't actually read what, what you done said or see what you done said. But, well, you know, uh, basically. Uh, well, well, uh, the 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 interview will be turned into an article, but the audio the audio will put it up. That's why I let you know that it's being recorded. Oh, okay, okay, I got you, so, I got you, so, okay. So, so, so you can't, like, I can't change your words because they're yours. It's get, they're going to be heard. Okay, so it's, it's, it's good, it's good. All right, all right, well, thank you. All right, man, thanks a lot. God bless you, man. Let me know, send me a link or something once it's up. Okay, will do. All right, all right, my dude. Thanks a lot, man, stay in touch. Okay, hey, look, it's funny that you called because I had just got the phone with uh, BoxingTalk.com, so... For some for some reason, you know, I've been getting the calls. Fighthype.com, I just reached out to them. Oh, man, there's some stuff going on, ain't it? Well, I mean, it's just time. I mean, you know, it's the new year. You you won your title, and uh, we, we're, we're looking to see what, what you're doing next. I mean, you know, we don't want uh, sect- uh, excuse me, uh, March to roll around and, and K-9 doesn't have a fight because now you lost the first quarter. Now you only got, you know, three more quarters to go. So now if you finally get something and it and it's March, we're talking May or June. So now that's half a year gone. So now you only fought once in a year. So, you know, I'm just trying exactly. to see what's up. 
Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Oh no, believe me. Trust when I tell you, man. I'm not. I'm not trying to sit there and sit back and be waiting, man. I re- I really want to fight ASAP, you know. But my CEO, I'm letting my CEO. He running a company and he's trying to make get us the most money and try to get us the best fight. So that's the only thing that's re- reason why it's kind of taking a little bit of a time because we're trying to make the right kind of fight. You know, it, a lot of them guys overseas offering me money, but it's just overseas, man. I'm not trying to go over there and I win the fight, but then they said a new and a, and a winner and a new IB a world champion, them guys are still still a bear for me over there. Well, you got the equalizer, man. You still got that punching power, that's for sure. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we're going to be in there. We're going to be in there a couple of times. We know for sure that we're going to fight. Well, not for sure, but we know that the mandatory is a fight that can happen. Plus, we can try and get a fight before that. So that's two. Then once we win that mandatory fight, I'm looking to fight at least three times this year. So, but isn't Jamel Charlo your mandatory? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a mandatory. And you're excited about that? No, 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 no. I said once. I, no, I didn't, I'm not excited about that. That's in that case. Look, they've been reaching out to me to fight him now, and I didn't. And I didn't take the fight because I'm not excited about that fight. You just said it. No, what I'm but saying what, that is a three. But fight. the offer, the offer isn't exciting either. No, nah, no. Nah, I, I mean, it, it, it's okay. It's okay, but it's it's there. The, 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 whatever they offer me now, will still be there when it's when a mandatory is due. But that's like I'm, that right there ain't going nowhere, you know. But what if you lose the purse bid? Who? I, I don't lose it. I, they, they, they'll try to come to me and, and make a settlement before I lose the purse bid because they don't want Jay-Z and them to win a purse bid. So before we go to purse bid, with the people that I've been in contact with, you know, I'm talking about from top rank to, to man, and then, you know, Jay-Z, he'll try to win a purse bid. So come on, man, I ain't worried about losing a purse bid. They're going to be trying to, like I said, they're going to be trying to settle and give me whatever I want to not go to purse bid. Well, all right. All right. You got it all worked out, man. I'm hoping something for March, brother. I'm hoping something for March. It'll be good man, for you to have a fight in happen. March. It'll be good for you to have a fight in March so you can get that out the way. Then you and Canelo, you guys are both, uh, you know, with no fights, and, and you can you can get it on because I think you deserve a big fight, man, and that's a, that's a big fight in your division. That's right. That's right. And I guarantee you, boy, <laughs> he's going to be in trouble. You know, you see, you see, that nobody want to fight against um against Carlos Molina. Have you ever have you ever seen anybody do that to Carlos Molina? Ever? No, not really. Nah, you haven't. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> and believe what I tell you, Carlos Molina was in real good shape for that fight. Wasn't no, he was rusty. Go read some of his interviews. I made sure I pulled his interviews up. How he was saying he loved. You know, last time he hadn't fought, he hadn't fought. It was over a year or something, and he's used to that. And when he fought Laura, he hadn't fought in a year or something. And so he wasn't rusty or none of that. You know, people are going to try to get him get him an excuse because they was betting with him, or they, they, or they talked about me and said, man, Carlos Lane is going to kill K-9. So now he's swallowing spit now. <laughs> they sure are. <laughs> well, K-9, man, yeah. thank you again, brother, and okay. have a good night. Okay, you too, man. Have a good one.